as Lord of the Thundercats, Lionel needed an epic sword to lead his clan. But not only did the Sword of Omens cut enemies down to size, it could also project energy from the Eye of Thundera. The Eye also let Lionel have sight beyond sight to see events in real time, sort of like having a FaceTime call. And it also could call out to his team when he needed them. Face it, if you shine a light, a cat is bound to chase it. As another plus, the Sword of Omens could get smaller, making it travel size for those long walks in the woods with Snark. Please, call the other Thundercats! A legendary warrior like Xena needs a legendary weapon. Xena's Chakram was based on a real-life weapon used in South Asia. In Xena, the Chakram worked as something of a boomerang. The warrior princess would launch it at enemies from many angles and have it return to her hand. During the series, Xena's original Chakram was destroyed by her archenemy Kalisto. When Xena reforges the weapon, it becomes a yin-yang symbol, rather than just a circle. The new Chakram gives Xena the ability to split it into two equal halves and use them in hand-to-hand -hand fights. Which Chakram did you like better? In the original Conan the Barbarian, we see a very different version of the bow and arrow. Angered that Conan and his friends ransacked his temple and stole the princess from his clutches, Thulsa Doom seeks revenge. Being that his magic is entwined with snakes, it's part of his brand after all, Thulsa Doom uses a reptile in place of an arrow to stage his attack. At his command of Seek, the snake arrow is shot and finds its way to Conan's love interest, Valeria. Intentional on the part of Thulsa Doom is he wants Conan to suffer. What better way than killing the woman he loves? Conan even has to rip the snake from Valeria's side and then burns her on a funeral pyre. The snake arrow certainly did its job. The hidden blade is the signature weapon used throughout all the Assassin's Creed games. The weapon is a blade discreetly hidden in a gauntlet and extended when needed to exact assassinations. The Hidden Blade's portability and concealment are trademarks of their guild. Anytime you have a signature weapon that a character is immediately recognized for, it's a plus. The Hidden Blade has been used before, but if you're even familiar with the Assassin's Creed games, I guarantee seeing it now will make you think of the various characters who use it. So which fantasy weapon is your favorite? Is there another that didn't make the list that you think is a unique fantasy weapon? Let me know in the comments, and it might make a future video.